Yo, 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 it's your boy J Dizzle, aka JD, coming at you with a new PS Live. You feel me? And, um, yeah, I'm gonna use a Swalla team that I just made, uh, about, a, with about three times, and it has a 66% win ratio. Um, so, <laughs> we're just gonna go ahead and get this bad thing started. You feel me? Alright, let's see what we can find. Okay, we have a match, and this is against Vax Kino, and he has a Golduck, an Armado, Musharna, Persian, Ursaring, and a Lampet. I have Swalot, Superior, Miltank, Pelipper, Behem, and Shelgon, which is so beastly together. Oh my god. Anyways, um, so I think he's going to start off with the Armado. He already turned on the damn timer. These people are tch, get on my nerves. He may want to lead off with the Persian or the Armado. Um, Superior is a pretty good check to both. I could stop him in his tracks as far as setting up his Stealth Rocks if he decides to lead with Armado with the Taunt. Uh, if he goes to Persian, he can be pretty much versatile, but I'm pretty sure I can take his hits. Um, yeah, with that being said, I think I might just go into my Behem and just fire off freaking. Okay, so he went into his Musharna. And luckily, my forewarn, forewarn alerted that he has a Thunderbolt, which is like, why? Anyway, I'm going to go for the trick just because. And um, I'm going to see how this works out. All right. I, you know, I hate when people, you feel me, they put on a timer and then they take forever to make a move. Like, dude, calm down. So I'm going to go ahead and trick him. Uh, he is now choice spec and I am lefties. He may just go for the psychic straight off the bat or T-Bow. I don't know what the hell he's going to do. He goes for psychic, which is fine. I have the shadow ball, which is doing a butt load. And um, right here, I'm just going to go for the psychic of my own, predicting him to switch out. And I get a good hit off on that Earth ring. So... Right here, I'm just going to go into my uh, physically defensive shell gun, which can take pretty much anything he can throw at me with relative ease, uh, except for a crunch. Uh, a crunch critical hit is pretty deadly. Um, I don't want him to set up or do anything stupid. I'm just going to go ahead and roar him out. Uh, in comes the Golduck, and my mill tank can pretty much take anything he can throw at me. Uh, so not too worried there. He may just want to go for the Ice Beam. This is a max special defense mill tank with Thick Fat. And I'm just going to go ahead and set up my Stealth Rocks because it's beneficial and I really need them up. Uh, he goes into his Lampant and I cannot touch it at all. So I'm going to go ahead and switch into my Pelipper, which is a pretty good uh, check. Um, because this is also uh, specially defensive. So I'm just going to go for the, I believe the U-turn probably be best in this situation. Um, and we're going to go ahead and proceed to do that. He goes into his Musharna. No problem. I do have the U-turn and I do get the switch advantage. So right here I can just go into my Behem or I can go into my, hmm. Yes, Behem looks like the best bet here. I'm going to go into my Behem and I will go fire off a... A shadow ball. Yeah, I'm far off a shadow ball as he just moonlights up. Um, which isn't going to help him in the long run. Right here, I'm just going to go for the Thunderbolt. Just in case if he wants to switch into something dumb. Such as Persian. Uh, he doesn't want to take this Thunderbolt. And it does a buttload to Persian. Um, I can just go right back into my Shogun. Because I can pretty much wall this guy, no problem. He goes for the fake out and ends up dying. That's why I say you never pack a life orb on a Persian and he forfeits. So I don't want to leave you guys with just one crappy battle. Uh, let's see if we can find something else. And hopefully it's a good one. Alright, let's see. Alright, here we go. All right, so this is against TLK, and he has a team of Seismitoad, Roselia, Golurk, Swellow, Sock, and Tauros, which you cannot see for some reason. I don't know why, but hey, that's what it is. Um, and 
Golurk is pretty much the main threat, um, and normally that's what they like to lead off with. Uh, so I'm just going to go ahead and lead off with my superior, just because he is superior. And he ends up leading off with Swellow, which is fine too. I can just go into my Shell Gun, which can wall him all day to hell and back. And that's what I will proceed to do. So let's see what he would like to do. I hope this guy doesn't take forever. This team, I just said, you know what? I want to use a Swallow. He he looks pretty prominent, promising. And uh, I just want to see if I can win with it. That's That's... That's what I do, guys. I just make teams, and I just say, you know what? To hell with it. Um, let's see what we can do. Hopefully, it works out for the better. And uh, we'll just go from there. He takes the opportunity to set up his Stealth Rocks. I'm going to take the opportunity to set up Mines as well. He goes into his Golurk, uh, which can scare me off with the Dynamic Punch. And fearing that, I'm just going to go into my Shell Gun, which can take pretty much anything this little guy can throw at me. He ends up going for an Earthquake, and it is a critical hit. Um, he cannot take that, however. So, uh, I'm already down and out. Um, I don't really know exactly what he would like to do to me, uh, but in this case, I will just U-turn, as I believe he would switch out, and he goes into a Seismitar, which is perfect. So now I can go ahead and get my switch advantage, and possibly, and pretty much threaten him with the uh, Giga Drain. Now, something's telling me that he's going to end up switching into his Roselia. And uh, if I can get the ton off, that would be pretty pretty crucial. Uh, at the same time, I think I might just want to go straight into my Behem, as I can pretty much psychic anything on his team. And let's see what he's going to do here. He goes into the Roselia. So that was a perfect prediction on my behalf. Now I can fire off a, a Psychic, which will do a buttload to anything he has. I have Analytic. This is Max... And he gets another crit. This is max special attack, uh, modest, and yeah, that's a clean one shot. Um, in comes the Swellow. I no longer have my shell gone. Um, and nothing really wants to take a hit from the Swellow. I'll take the time to go into, you know what? I don't think I no longer need this BM. I mean, he pretty much just killed it. I'm just going to go for the Psychic. He's going to go for the Brave Bird, which is fine. Um, of course, that will take me out from that range. I'm going to go into my Mill Tank, um, which can pretty much smack this dude. You feel me? Like they do out in Oakland, but just, yeah. I just want the Scout to see exactly what he was going to do to me. He goes for the facade which does a lot of damage and then he ends up going into his goaler which I predicted um, but I still went for the body slam so oh well ah, get the parahacks which is beautiful exactly what we need on this team because this team is actually based around parahacks and that's how it functions uh, right here I'm going to go ahead and switch into my Pelipper he goes for the close combat Pelipper takes that like a boss and I can fire off a super effective hurricane, um, predicting his seismitoad to come in. Uh, but the best bet will be just to roost off the damage, I would think, yeah. Let's go ahead and roost. In comes the seismitoad. Uh, most of these things like to carry toxic and, uh, and pretty much anything of that sort. So I'm just going to go ahead and go for the knockoff because I don't want him to continuously... Uh, will gradually regain HP every turn. And then the fact that I'm slower is going to be helpful just because that I can get the U-turn off and then uh, proceed to go from there. He goes for the... He goes for the scout on my... Wow. Let me see. What what stats does Seismitoad have? Like, Seismitoad... Okay, 74. I mean, what does Swallow have? I think I have some type of speed investment, but I still want to be faster. Um, so in this case right here, this scenario, I'm just going to go into my Superior and um, just get the Leech Seed off. He's going to stay in. 
this guy is fucking retarded. I don't understand his thought process or what the hell is going on right now. Um, but we'll leave that for a later date uh, for people that actually understand things. He goes back into his swallow. I'm going to go for the Giga Drain. It does just enough damage to where he only has this one hit in his tank. And I believe he's going to want to take me out. Which is going to be bad because I need my superior for his Golurk. Um, Pelipper is a fucking boss. Mill tank. I don't think I'm going to no longer need mill tank. Um, so I'm just going to go ahead and sack off my mill tank. No Pope. Um, <laughs> sack off, jack off. I don't think you get it. Anyway, so yeah, his swallow is down. And uh, Superior can pretty much smack a lot of, smack pretty much everything on his team. I think he's going to switch into his Tauros here. This gives me the opportunity to go ahead and set up that uh, that, that that big glare. If I can get this big glare off, oh my god. Oh yes, I think I can win this, guys. I'm going to leech him. Oh, I miss. He gets paralyzed. Okay, alright, okay, that's fine. I'm going to leech him. Yes, he missed the rock line. We're going to win this. We are going to win this. Now I'm going to Giga Drain. This is perfect. Oh my gosh, that did so much damage. All right, so that's the end of his Tauros. And my superior is pretty much going to kill the rest of his team. I can just see it now. Um, Golurk is the only thing that I am sort of fearing. Uh, but I do know that I need my superior in order to win this match. Uh, so my best bet right now is just to go on a Pelipper, take whatever he can throw at me. Um, and he goes for the Shadow Punch, which is fine. I do have... I do have uh, a lot of HP investment, so I do think that I can take that... Uh, yeah, I'm pretty sure I can take one hit. I'm pretty sure I can take one. Yes, I take the one hit. Now I'm in a uh, overgrow range, and that is going to be a clean KO. Uh, goodbye, Golurk. And pretty much he's going to get wrecked from here. I can just uh, see it now. Um, I just want to get as much damage as possible. And yeah, that's going to be the game, guys. As you can see, Superior is just going to clean up. No problem. And, uh, yeah, he ends up forfeiting. So, hope you guys enjoyed that. Um, Superior going to work. Swala doing his thing because Swala is sexy. And uh, you guys have a great night, even though it's morning. Yeah, you see how backwards I am? I haven't been asleep yet, so it's still nighttime to me. Anyways, uh, see you guys later. Swag and tell the ladies you the truth, baby. Yeah.